Okay, because I am out today, I decided to make a quick video for review of point slope form. This is what you're going to be doing today. So remember this form, and the things you can plug in are the Y1, the M, and the X1. And then the steps for doing this. The first thing you do, remember, is that you label your point X1, Y1. Second thing you do is you plug it in. Plugging that thing into the equation with the M. And then you distribute. And then you solve. Okay? <coughs> so we have to remember all of those steps. All right, so we're going to do a couple problems. We're going to start with basic ones. Okay. So I have a slope of 2, and it passes through the point 3, negative 4. So again, first thing I want you to do is label x1, y1. And now we're going to plug into this form. So it's going to be y minus something equals something times x minus something. Those are the three blanks. Those are the three yellow underlines. And so the first blank is supposed to be y1, so this is negative 4. The second blank is supposed to be M, so it's 2. And the third blank is supposed to be X1, so it's 3. Okay, Right here, you should notice that those become plus. And then here, I'm going to distribute. So 2 times X is 2X, and 2 times 3 is 6. There's one negative there, so I write that negative. <clears throat> now we're down to the last step of getting rid of a plus 4 by minusing 4. 4 has to go with the 6 because it can't go with x's. And so your answer is 2x minus 10. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Let's try one that's a fraction, okay? Because fractions are kind of hard, but I think it's something that you could do. So let's do the fraction negative one-third with the point three, negative three, comma six. So again, I'm going to label my points first. So this negative three is x1, six is y1, and now I'm going to plug it in. And again, you don't have to write the blanks. I'm just writing the blank so that we know those are the things we have to fill in. And the blanks are the underlines. The first blank is supposed to be y1, which is 6. The second blank is supposed to be the m, which is negative 1 third. And then the last blank is supposed to be x1, which is negative 3. Okay, so now move this out of the way. <clears throat> y minus 6 is just y minus 6. Okay, we got a fraction here, but I don't want you to freak out. I'm not going to give you challenging fractions. I'm going to give you fractions that you could do pretty easily. And so negative 1 third times 6 is negative 1 third. Okay, these two become a plus. Now here's the thing. Negative 1 third times 3. I spent some time talking about this in class yesterday. But essentially, this is just 3 over 1. So it's just top times top divided by the bottom. So 1 times 3 is 3 divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And there's a negative there. So it's minus 1. And so now I get rid of the minus 6 by adding 6. And so I get negative one third x plus five. Okay. I want to do a couple fractions problems so you can see kind of what happens with fractions because you're going to have some fractions today. So let's do like uh, one half times four. <coughs> So all you're doing is the top times the top. If you don't see a bottom, that number is on the top. So 1 times 4 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. 
about two thirds times six. Two times six is 12 divided by three is four. Let's do negative three fourths times eight. Negative three times eight is negative 24 divided by four is negative six. So you just do top times top divided by what's ever on the bottom, okay? All right, the last type of problem I wanna have, let's come over here to the side of the notes, is I'm gonna give you something and you're going to tell me the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so if I give you, so fine, slope, not y-intercept, I'm sorry, the slope and the point. So if I give you this equation, Can we pull out the M and the B? So remember, these are the things we still look for. Okay, so our M is usually the easiest one because it's what's touching, so our M is three. <coughs> Excuse me. Our point though, that's the one that's a little tricky. Remember our point X is on the inside with X and it's the opposite of what you see. So since it's a minus four, that means it's a positive, oops, it doesn't go there. It goes here with the x, it's a positive 4. And since this one's a minus 2, remember the formula has a minus, so we just say it's the opposite, so this is positive 2. Okay, let's try another one. So again, the things that we know are here, here, and here. Those are our numbers. We have to say what those numbers are. Remember, M is usually the easiest. It's the multiplier. And then we got to figure out these two. Here's the thing. These two are together, so that means that's the X. And so it's the opposite. So it's not the minus, because remember, our formula always is minus. So it's positive 4. And then here, look, these are even together. Y is together. So that tells me it's the y. Now you see how it's plus one? It's supposed to be minus. So that means it's negative. Okay. <coughs> so you will have a handful of problems like these two on the left. Most of them will be like numbers one and two over here. 